Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today we're going to convert Adobe Illustrator file into MP4 video file for Instagram using Adobe Animate. It is a very simple process, so please yeah, just to follow my instructions that we're going to make it. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. <laughs> Okay, first, please download this Adobe Illustrator file uh, from the link I provided in my description. And then, uh, go to Adobe Animate, create a new file. The size is 1080 pixel width by 1350 pixel height. And 30 frame rate, HTML5 canvas. Okay, so double click your hand tool so we can... Uh, view the whole thing. Then now, first, go to Adobe Illustrator, select the, the globe image with the, all the, uh, the famous spots, and copy this, and back to Adobe, uh, Adobe Animate, and paste it. Edit, paste it center. Make sure you check the second one, the pasting using AI file importer preferences. Okay, and then open the alignment panel, uh, align to stage, horizontal and vertical center. Okay, then now, with your selection tool, your globe image is selected. Now go to properties panel. In your properties panel, choose this button so we can convert this image into um, uh, the movie clip symbol. Click on it, and I'm going to name it as Rotate. Type must be Movie Clip. Say OK. OK. Now, in the library, you see that? The Rotate Movie Clip symbol? Just a double click. And I'm going to make it smaller. Now I'm in the, um, the window option. 25% so I can view the whole thing because this is quite big one. Now I'm going to uh, rotate this as a movie clip symbol. I'm going to assign about 20 seconds. So um, 20 seconds is here. 600 frames. Insert the keyframe first and then place your mouse cursor on any segments, uh, any spot. Hold on the control key and click or right click create classic twin okay and then go to properties you see there rotate please choose clockwise just once okay so let me play it so it is rotating pretty slow for 20 seconds see okay now go back to your main scene. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. Okay, so it's quite big one. I'm going to relocate it a little bit to somewhere here. Okay, so this is a movie clip symbol. So first, I'm going to assign maybe a one second duration and on one second mark, frame number 30, insert the keyframe. Then, place your mouse cursor somewhere in the middle here. Hold down the option, I'm sorry, control key or right click. And create classic twin. Okay, so we start from here. And, on 30 second, I mean the 30 frame, my second keyframe, I'm going to make it smaller. Let me hold down the shift key. So I can keep the same proportion in the middle. And I'm going to relocate it somewhere here. It uh, looks good in here. Okay. So it is doing like this. Okay. It, and the, it doesn't rotate now as it is. I have to test the movie in browser. And it will, we will see that uh, all kind of rotating things. And I'm going to assign 20 second duration. 
So let me move up to 22nd. Highlight here, frame number 600. And just insert the keyframe so we can match the time. Okay, so. Let me test the movie first. Go to control menu, test movie in browser. And watch. Yep. Now it is rotating. Okay. Now let me go back. Also, I want to make it fade in. So um, highlight the first keyframe and click on your image on your stage. Then in your properties panel, you will see that color effects panel. Choose the alpha down to zero. So it is rotating, getting smaller and fading in. That's what I'm looking for. Let me test the movie again. Control test the movie in browser. Fading in, rotating, and keeps rotating for 20 seconds. So it looks good. Okay, now back to Adobe Animate timeline. So what I'm going to do is after one second mark, I want to have my logo uh, animate. So insert uh, a new layer on top. Uh, let me rename this. The bottom layer is a globe layer. And this layer is supposed to be logo layer. Now back to Adobe Illustrator. Select your logo. Copy. And back to Adobe Animate. And on one second mark, highlight it. Insert a keyframe. So you have to see this empty circle. That's the other blank keyframe. Then edit and just paste in center also check the second radio button pasting using paste using ai fire importer preferences okay so that is that i'm going to relocate it there i'm going to make it smaller hold down the shift and make it smaller let me double click my hand tool okay so i'm um, somewhere here looks good Okay, and then select your logo. I'm going to convert this as a movie clip symbol. Also, click the, uh, this button and name it as a logo. Type movie clip symbol and OK. Now in the library panel, double click your logo movie clip symbol. Now we are in logo movie clip symbols editing window. So I'll highlight the frame number 15, insert a keyframe, highlight the frame number 30, another keyframe. Then place your mouse cursor somewhere between the 1 and 15 here. Hold down the control or right click and create classic twin. Do the same thing between the second and the third keyframe. Control click or right click, create classic twin. In the middle, the second keyframe. On frame number 15 let me choose my free transform tool um, hold down the shift key and make it slightly bigger not too big just like this so it's gonna be like this now back to main scene by clicking this button in here for two uh, up to two seconds highlight the M2 second mark which is a frame number 60 on the second keyframe I mean the second layer here oh logo layer insert a keyframe then hold down the control click control and click in between anywhere or right click and create classic twin on frame number 30 the first keyframe select your logo properties panel color effect alpha value down to zero okay so now see what happens so let's test the movie control test the movie in browser rotating logos fading in and keeps animating like that for 20 seconds okay next back to animate timeline 
So after this, I want to have the title, the, the text. So insert a new layer. And on frame number 60, two second mark, insert a keyframe. Okay. And then let me type the word, the name of this company, Travel Lo-Fi. I don't know. This is just a made up name. Travel Lo-Fi. Somewhere there. Okay. I'm going to create yet another layer on top. Then let me insert the other keyframe on frame number 60 also. Then back to Adobe Animate, I mean the Adobe Illustrator. Select this the slogan, meet the word, slogan or motto. Copy this. Back to Adobe Animate. And paste it. Edit, paste in center. Choose the second option. Okay, and place it on the very bottom. And this is not pure black. So what I'm going to do is select the, uh, the text on the bottom, go to modify, break apart, one more time, break apart. Then change the fill color from this dark gray to pure black. Meet the word. Okay, then... I'm going to send maybe about 15 seconds, uh, 15 frames. So highlight the frame number 75 on top layer and the second layer by holding down the shift key, then insert the keyframe. Okay, then select these two layers, the top two layers, place your mouse cursor somewhere in between 60 and 75, either top or the second layer, doesn't matter. Control click or right click and create classic twin. Okay, so first, my Travelify, the top text, this one. Select the first keyframe. I'm going to move down a little bit. And color effect alpha, down to zero. So the text is going to be rising up and fading in. Okay, and let me do kind of a similar effect for this. Meet the word on the bottom. So click on your word. Meet the word. Then color effect alpha down to zero. So this happens. Okay. So let's take a look so far. Control test the movie in browser. Fading in, rotating, logo comes in and travelify and meet the word fading in and moving in and it keeps rotating for 20 seconds so it looks okay for now but on the background is kind of a too boring so that's the last thing and timeline let me create a new layer i'm going to move this layer the new layer to the very bottom and let me rename it as a bg background layer so on this layer, let me draw, let me choose the rectangle tool, let me draw a rectangle filling the, yeah, the entire stage. Then select it, sorry, select the back of uh, this rectangle and change the fill color to this radial gradient black and white still selected open color palette change the color I'm gonna change this the other center color from white to light blue and this black to white now test the movie control test the movie again see the white this kind of sky background Spinning, travel of fire, meet the word. It will keep playing for 20 seconds. Okay, so it looks good. It looks kind of a little bit choppy and then I'm uh, a little slow. So once I export it as an MP4 video file, it's going to be okay. So Adobe Animate. 
and then uh, before we do that let's save it first I'm gonna name as travel travelify save it and export as the mp4 make sure you open media encoder first make sure this media encoder open then now go to file export video and media I'm not gonna change the dimension let me keep it entire movie this is important format is h264 as mp4 file and then output the location is important so I click on the folders icon okay so I'm gonna keep this name travelify so it will be travelify.mp4 save it make sure you check this button Adobe Media Encoder render and export it okay so let me check my folder I think it is done so let me check see much smoother Travelify, meet the world, playing for 20 seconds because we made it as a movie clip symbol. Okay, yep. So I will play again. Let me rewind it. Yep. So that's how it works, like this. So it's a very simple uh, animation for Instagram. So we transfer the Adobe Illustrator file into animation using Adobe Animate. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching and see you next time.